In this video, you'll learn about the anesthetic monitoring form feature, customizations you can make to it, as well as using it. The anesthetic monitoring form feature allows you to preset commonly used drugs during surgery and then monitor those drugs, the animal's vitals, and many other data pieces that are important during surgery. To use the anesthetic monitoring form feature, you must first make sure it is enabled on your site. To enable this feature, navigate to the gear icon to take you to the configuration side of the system, and on your general tab, scroll down to the medical record settings section and expand it out. You'll need to ensure that the enable anesthetic monitoring form setting box is checked off. If it is unchecked and you'd like to turn it on, check the box and scroll down to the bottom of the page to hit your save button. To do some customizations for presetting the anesthetic monitoring form feature, once it has been enabled, you're going to see a new menu option called Anesthetic Setup. Currently, this form is already set up to have one of the pre-meds automatically populated whenever we go to fill out an anesthetic monitoring form. You have the ability to add in your meds for pre-population for pre-meds, induction, emergency drug, emergency fluid, and the other medication section. To add an item to be pre-populated so that it is immediately available whenever you go to fill out and use the anesthetic monitoring form for that particular section, click the green plus icon. In the item search box, you can search by inventory code, by a portion of the name, or the category for the drug that you want to add to the anesthetic monitoring form. You can enter a default dose in this section. All you need to do is enter the number. The system will know the measurement based off of the way the item is set up in inventory and will display it correctly once you click Save. You can choose the default route. If a drug can be given in more than one way, you can hold down the control key to click on multiple routes. When you are done, hit your Save button. Emergency drug, emergency fluids, and other meds allow you to enter the default concentrations as well. That way, if you need to use these drugs quickly, you already have the doses correctly calculated. Typically, pre-meds and induction drugs are filled out before the surgery takes place so that the form is not designed to calculate these doses for you. Once you have entered in all of your drugs, the form is automatically saved. You can remove or edit drugs at any time by clicking the red X, or the edit pencil, respectively. To use an anesthetic monitoring form, you first must navigate to a patient's medical record. Once in your patient's medical record, in your medical record quick link section, you'll see the option to choose the anesthetic monitoring form. Once you have opened the anesthetic monitoring form, you may be asked to verify the patient's weight. The anesthetic monitoring form has multiple sections within them. In the blue section up at the top, this is where we have the basic information on the client and the patient. In this section here, you can update information on the surgery using the fields provided. Now we see under pre-meds, the items that we added on the configuration side are already pre-populated for you. If you didn't use a particular drug for this patient's surgery, you can click the red X to remove it from the form. And if you need to make adjustments to the actual values entered in for the drugs used, click your edit pencil, update your dose amount for what was actually dispensed, the route actually used, and click your save button. Once you have given a drug, click on the check mark. It will prompt you to enter in your employee PIN number and then click the record mark that you are the one giving this drug. Once all pre-med and injection drugs have been given and the patient is good to begin surgery, click on the check mark under Logged to indicate that you have given approval for surgery. Again, enter in your PIN number and click Record. You can click on the clocks 
for the anesthesia starting end times and surgery starting end times to begin your timers. If you need to make adjustments, you will see the edit pencil option available. Down below, under induction, before surgery, during surgery, in surgery, and extubation, if you click the plus sign beside one of these, this is where you have the ability to enter in the vital readings. You do not have to fill out every single field, just the ones that you're needing to complete. If you conducted multiple vital checks, you can click the plus sign to add in an additional entry. Under the emergency drug doses section, these are like the pre-med and induction sections above and can be logged as well. Once you have completed the form, you do not need to save. As you can see, some of those sections can be edited after surgery, but if they have already been initiated or logged off on, they will need to be reinitiated. This form is designed to be used during surgery. However, the edit pencils allow you to change the time so that you can fill out the form post-surgery. It is important to note that this is only a monitoring form. Nothing on this form will be automatically transferred to the treatment section. This is because most of these items are not billed separately and are a part of the sedation and or surgery package. Automatically transferring these over to the treatment section as charges would potentially cause the clients to be overcharged or double charged. 